Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for September 2nd, 2020. Hey guys, before we get started, I just want to let everyone know we are experiencing trouble. This is for all RWO members. Um, we are experiencing trouble with the website this morning. Um, we don't know what's going on. We've got someone working on it, trying to figure out what the problem is. So if you're trying to log into the website um, and it's not showing up, um, that is... That's the problem that we're having. And so be patient with us. We are working on it. Um, not starting very good uh, for today. I, and um, Rick and uh, my, Ed and myself are all trying to figure out what's going on here. But I thought I'd do a quick morning prep with video anyway, um, so that when we get the website back up, everyone will be ready for the day. So how about we settle in, let's relax a little bit, buckle up and get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, everyone, we're looking at a market that's showing lots of bullishness. We had new record highs made yesterday in the SPY. I just, I gotta tell you, um, no one's more surprised than me that after such a historic um, August, we're seeing such a wild, um, a bullish move um, continuing here, and we continue to extend. But there's some interesting things out there that we need to pay attention to. So let's take a look first at what's going on in these charts. Well, when we look at the Dow, um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with the Dow here, showing lots and lots of strength overall. We did have that little bit of a pushback, but we followed through yesterday after a bullish engulfing candle, pushing on up. Bulls are in control, new highs um, on this breakout from yesterday in IWM. New record highs are not that far behind. We only have about 3% that we need to rally in the Dow to reach up here and hit that new record high in the diamonds. And maybe that's what the market is after. They're trying to uh, push that one up. Certainly the biggest moves of the day um, were in the big tech sector um, with a lot of stocks continuing to move lower. But we had just enough here in the Dow to continue us moving along to the upside. So technically, let's take a look at our moving averages staying very, very strong. There's nothing in here suggesting bearishness just yet. However, we still have this massive extension. We are really overextended from our 50-day moving average. And typically, you know, when we get far overextended from the 50-day moving average, let's pull this back, we typically see substantial pullbacks on the way. So we do want to stay focused on the potential that profit taking could come in at any time. But for now, bulls are definitely in control and keeping this market very, very strong to the upside. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also extremely strong, um, setting new records yesterday, pushing up. A uh, very, very strong market. And we did see a little bit of pushback after we hit that new high yesterday. Just a little bit of pushback, but we ended up coming in right at the end of the day. Very strong. There was a burst of energy coming in and right there pushing us back up. So, little bit of back and forth here on the SPY, but I got to tell you, the strength here in this market is truly remarkable. And there's some question marks out there that just really um, make me a little bit concerned at how far we are stretching this up away from that 50-day moving average. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ once again, just smoking hot, um, ripping to the upside. Almost no pullback in this market ever. And we, we just don't seem to care um, what's going on out there um, with the actual economy, unemployment, um, all those kind of things. The White House is making a 
quick move to try and prevent evictions uh, because the time was running out on that. Congress hadn't gotten uh, their act together to fix that problem. And there was a major concern that there was going to be a lot of um, evictions because folks haven't been paying their uh, mortgages. Um, so the White House is making a move to try and prevent that from occurring um extending that deadline but as you can see we have a very very strong move to the upside here in the market let's take a look at our moving averages also moving averages no worries whatsoever here in the price action staying very very bullish but i will tell you that we're so stretched away from price action um, here in the chart notice that that is 11 and a half percent um, in that um, crazy crazy um, how far stretched away we are from the market let's take a look at IWM now IWM um, very interesting here that IWM did follow through yesterday, pushing through to the upside, breaking some resistance in this chart, but still not being able to really officially break out. We're holding in trend, we're beautiful here. Maybe we can follow through and we really need those financials and those oil sector stocks to start picking up here yeah. to give this some help and aid. Um, to try and move on higher so we'll want to keep a close eye on that let's take a look at the real perplexing thing here um, in this market as we're moving up setting new record highs and we have this wild buying going on notice our VIX is not moving lower our VIX continues to move higher um, that is a very odd situation seeing the VIX moving up with a market and I don't know what that means honestly it, this is an odd situation where we've pushed through we're pushing back up here strongly in the VIX we crossed above the 50-day moving average um, perhaps today we get some kind of a pullback in the VIX, but it's interesting to me that we are seeing the VIX continue to move to the upside. And if we take a look at VXX, kind of the retail traders side here of the VIX, um, staying very, very strong, very, very bullish, breaking downtrends here in the chart. So interesting to see that occurring as we move up. And it's also interesting if we look at the overall, um, the absolute market m breadth, notice the huge decline we had yesterday. As we continue to rally up, Fewer and fewer companies are being supportive of this rally. Kind of an interesting situation. I showed this yesterday where we have a tremendous divergence between our indexes and the market breadth. That can be a major problem if we do start to shift and turn south. So watch that carefully. And just remember, guys, there's I'm not trying to be bearish here at all in this video. What I'm trying to say is don't just... Um, ignore these warning signs. We have to stay on our toes and be very focused um, if the change uh, begins to happen. But this morning, um, no such change happening here. If we look at the Dow futures, um, we're looking at a gap up open of 100 uh, plus points, more than 150 points. As a matter of fact, we're looking at a ga Dow gap up open um, based on that, those futures results. So lots of bullishness here. So it's not showing up yet, but we do want to pay attention to that. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, did get a little bit of a rally yesterday, but notice not a significant rally. We pushed back up toward uh, just a little bit above the the median here in this index and the reason that is is because we still had a vast majority of stocks either moving south or sideways yesterday we we were pushed up by some of those big techs a few other stocks out there doing very very well while others are kind of languishing and missing out 
on volume overall. So watch that carefully. And remember, we're heading into a three-day weekend. Um, we're going to probably see trading floors clearing out here soon. Everyone's going to be trying to get away to um, get a little vacation time. So watch that carefully. We could see volumes begin to drop off pretty quickly. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have um, some things that we'll want to pay attention to. This morning, we get an ADP report. Now, the ADP consensus is for a really good number. Um, obviously, we have motor vehicle sales um, coming out as well this morning. But let's take a look at that ADP. Consensus estimate is suggesting that we jump up by 900,000 uh, private payroll jobs. That will be a major improvement in ADP. We were at 167 last um, reading. And so up 900,000, that could be very, very bullish for the market if those jobs are really coming back that strongly. Keep in mind, that's just setting up the Friday number for the employment situation number. We'll want to pay attention to that. And then we also have factory orders here this morning. We have the petroleum status report, which obviously will be very important for um, that those oil sector stocks will want to watch that pretty closely. If we end up with a build in those supplies, we could actually see that hurt those um, oil sector stocks and cause some more pressure in that area. And then keep in mind, we've got Beige Book and three Fed speakers, uh, excuse me, four Fed speakers throughout the day. So we're going to have a lot of Fed speak. I doubt we learn anything new, but they're on a tour i guess um and we're gonna see a lot of comments from them today so kind of keep that in mind remember tomorrow we have goods and services jobless claims productivity and claims ism index and natural gas so those are things you want to pay attention to and the reason i'm bringing that up guys is right way options i am going to be taking some time off um, right way options will be closed there will be no video on thursday or friday so make sure you're checking in and paying attention to these events um been a long time since i took um several days in a row off and um looking forward to it <laughs> my wife is looking forward to it so i apologize if you're going to miss out on the video um, but i want to just say thank you to everyone um, for allowing me to take a little uh, time off let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time i post one of these videos um, you know the purpose of these videos are not to provide any hype or no prediction just really looking at the technicals of the chart and really trying to decide um, how i want to approach the market for the day and if you find that helpful please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment i truly truly appreciate it um, you guys are are awesome thank you very much by the way and even though i am not going to be around uh, for the next couple of days. I do have some videos ready that will be dropping um, on YouTube so that some more uh, education videos, training videos that I'll be dropping on YouTube that will be available for everyone to view. Let's take a look at some stocks setting up and there are quite a few out there looking very, very good. Take a look at Advance Auto. This is one that I have mentioned a few times now in the morning prep. And as you can see, this continues to set up. If I pull this back, we broke through some significant resistance here in the chart in Advance Auto, and we're just kind of slip sliding sideways holding that support. What I want to be doing is watching closely for that bullish move that could pop up in here. Keep a close eye on that Advance Auto might be one to pay attention to. I've been mentioning KMX um, as well, and KMX alerted yesterday with a beautiful pop. There's that same pattern popping up through resistance, consolidating that move over toward trend, and pow, um, we have buyers stepping in. So keep an eye on KMX. Also make note that KMX is going to report earnings here 
coming up. So you'll want to keep an eye on that on the 24th. Um, let's take a look at stocks like Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble. This is a nice long upside trend. We broke through um, a little bit of uh, price resistance after pushing up very, very strongly, and we're consolidating that move. What I'm watching for is Procter & Gamble to maybe slide over toward that trend, and I would be looking for that next potential move up here in Procter. Keep a close eye on it, it's looking good. Um, yesterday, we saw a tremendous move in, uh, not yesterday, the day before in Nike, and there's that pattern again, where we move up sharply, consolidate over to trend, and continue moving on up. So it's one of those patterns that repeats itself pretty commonly in the market. And that's what I'm looking for in Advance Auto and KMX. Notice that Nike followed through to the upside, pushing up strongly and looking pretty good overall. So big, strong move here in Nike. Let's pay attention to that. Costco also looking very, very good after breaking through. There's that pattern again. Isn't it amazing? I can show that over and over. Breaking through resistance, consolidating that move, buyer stepping up, pushing Costco on higher. Keep a close eye on that. Looking very, very good overall. Let's take a look at restoration hardware. I've been mentioning restoration hardware as well. There's that move again. We move up in trend, we consolidate over toward trend, and then we move on higher. Lots of bullishness here in that chart, so keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at Google. This is a pretty expensive company for a lot of folks to trade, but take a look at Google. Very nice pattern here as we push through push through. This is showing the gap up potentially this morning. Beautiful move in the chart. Beautiful push through to the upside. Looking very, very positive in the chart. Um, lots going on there in Google to be happy about. Apple. Apple remains very, very bullish. Um, you would think we would get some kind of rest or pullback in this soon after extending up, but boy, we're, every day is a gap up and extension um, in Apple, and Apple is being one of the big lifters in the indexes overall. We're also seeing Microsoft trying to push on higher after Microsoft broke into this next level up here above 225. You can see got a little resting pullback and now trying to show bullishness in that chart. This may require just a little bit more rest before it really takes off and that would be just because we have a little bit more room over here to the trend. But we're so bullish in these markets, we may extend this out to um, well, just to continue pushing this higher, we may get that overextension here for a period of time in Microsoft. So lots of bullishness here overall. Let's take a look at FCX. If you guys know I've been holding FCX. I'm very, very happy with this trade. Um, moving up strong. Once again, same pattern um, repeating again where we move up, consolidate over to trend. We get started to the upside and we continue to stretch on up. So FCX looking very, very strong. Also seeing um, Alcoa showing a little bit of strength here and here's that move where we consolidate over toward trend looking for a little bit of bullishness in here if we can get some follow through on alcoa you may have some upside move coming in there so keep a close eye on those charts i want to wish everyone a fantastic day i also want to apologize that we're having difficulties with the website um uh, be patient. We're working on it. Just keep checking back. Hopefully we will have that repaired very soon. Apparently, um, I just got pinged uh, by our guy working on it that there was an automatic update yesterday um, to the WordPress on the site and that's creating a problem so hopefully we'll be able to get that fixed right away take a look um, last but not least i'm going to mention disney now i have a little bias on disney because i own this chart disney pushed down pretty solidly a couple of days ago but you can see trying to pick up and push back up i think disney's coming around um 
coming up and we're seeing moves in some of these travel type stocks um, casinos trying to pick up we're seeing airlines and cruise lines and hotels trying to pick up Disney um, could benefit from that and let's keep an eye on that Disney starting to perk up here so last but not least everyone have a fantastic day I want to wish you all of the best and I'll see you back here next week um, taking that time off. Thank you, everyone. Take care of yourself. Be safe. And have an awesome, awesome day. Talk to you soon.